Hello everybody. It's nice to see you again. Charlene here. Um, today I'm giving you a review and a tutorial of the Too Faced, if you get it right here, Love Palette. It's a, an adorable palette as Too Faced, the packaging is always so cute. You just enjoy having it on your table. And it's called <clears throat> the Love Passionately Pretty Eyeshadow Collection. And it's the most adorable eyeshadow palette you've seen. Okay, there it is. It's really, really cute. So cute. It has various colors, mostly shimmers. You can see there's greens, there's browns, there's purples, there's beiges and light pinks, some taupes. Quite a few shades here. Each individual area has five different shapes, shades that complement each other. And I'm barefaced and I'll get with the tutorial. I've started with my Dr. Dines Hydra Shield. I've also put on my Silky Sheer Sunblock SPF 50 L'Oreal Paris. You can get this at CVS. It's a really wonderful product. Okay, so let's begin. Today I'll be using my CoverGirl Stay Fabulous Outlast Foundation. It's a little bit light for me for the summertime, but I just use a little bronzer and it's perfect. My color is medium beige. This is one of the finest drugstore makeups I've ever used. The staying power is outstanding. It's really appropriately named. Very appropriately named. Just dab it all over the face. And, excuse me, with my blender. I put a little lip balm on. Anything I had. I think I had Blistex or whatever you have is good. It's important to use a little lip balm just to make sure your lips are not too dry for the lipstick. Okay. This applies easily. It's really, really amazing. I mean, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Um, my hair is wet. Sometimes uh, it cools me off just to let it dry naturally. Most of the time I just flip my head over and blow dry my hair. Okay. Just a little bit more to make sure I have total coverage, but you really don't need a lot of this. This is just a great foundation. Blends easily, lasts all day gives you a, a satin finish to a matte, satiny matte. Not completely matte though, which is nice. But it's had some wonderful reviews. Okay, we're done with that. Now some concealer, my Revlon Age Defy. It's a wonderful concealer. It's been discontinued. Let's put it around my nose. And that's pretty good. You can use anything. I'm going to use my fingers for the rest of it. Okay. Perfect. Now my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Just to keep my shadow on pretty well. I like to keep my makeup routine under 15 minutes. Okay. Now mine, I got, it's typically, this palette, the Love palette, is typically $49 at Sephora. I got a special deal that came with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I think it was around $35 on QVC. It also came with a wonderful eye pencil. It's black though, and I'm over 40 as I mentioned, and black eyeliner is not right for people over 40. When I was like 42, I was using my same black eyeliner. I said, something's not right. And I started using the brown, and I just looked so much better. It just, I don't know really why that is. Okay, so today I'm using the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. And my color is Hot Tamale. Just an easy-to-use blush. I like cream blushes. They tend to look more natural than powder. Although I do top it off with the powder so that it will stay all day. Just use my fingers for that. 
Just use my fingers. Okay. And just going to do my lips so I can get onto the eyes. That's the star of the show. I'm using a lip pencil from Sephora. It's a really nice one. The Sephora lip pencils, this one's in real red. They're really very good and they're reasonably priced. This one needs to be sharpened. Okay. Then, an e.l.f. lipstick called Rich Raspberry. It's just a very light. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, on to the eyes. We'll start off with doing the eyebrows. That will help. I usually brush them down. You can see I brush them down. This one too. And then I can see on the top, this is a Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color granite. Matches my eyebrow perfectly. Just do the top. Really, that's all I do. Then it's just, it's filling in and it's perfect. No big deal. Okay, now we do the other one. It's going to be, I have, I'm the mother of three, so I don't want to take a lot of time doing anything. I like to try to keep it under 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so now we are ready for the, a light dusting of powder. One of my favorites is a HD powder, Derma Blend, professional powder. It's kind of messy, but it really does set the makeup. I put it over my eyes before I do any kind of eyeshadow. I'm not done with the brows yet. I still have to put the Anastasia tinted brow gel in them. That I do at the end typically because I can get powder on the brows and you know. Okay, very good. Okay. All set. And now I just take a blush brush. And this is a very old NYX blush. This blush is very old. It's discontinued. It's called Peach. It's one of my favorites. I just It brightens the face. And I usually put it over my cream blush to make sure that the blush will stay all day. Okay, and now we're on to the star of the show, which is the tutorial. The Love Tutorial. This is a good palette. It's wonderful. The pigmentation is okay, but the problem is if you want deep, deep color, you can wet these. And if you wet them, you get intense color. If you want a light, you know, color, a, sh a light sheen in your eye, then use them the way they are. And some of the ones are dark, very dark. Um, see how pigmented the dark ones are? And the light ones are very nice. Let's start on the eye. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take the peach color. It's called Adore. It's right here. And I'm, oh no, excuse me, I took that wrong color. This is the peach right here, Adore. And I'm going to put it all over the lid. All over the lid. Peach or Adore, it's called. This is a Coastal Sense brush. That's going all over the lid. Okay, good. And then I'm going to take the sort of the taupey color in Desiree. Desiree. It's a lovely with a bit of a sheen. It's really a lovely color with a bit of a sheen. And I'm going to take an e.l.f. brush and then put it right in the crease, right up here in the crease. This is just going to be a lovely user-friendly eye peaches and taupes. Okay. Do the same with the other eye. Put it in the crease. Do you see that? Okay, lovely. Then I'm going to take a mat. Excuse me, my 
brushes are over here. Well, I'll bring them in here. Okay, let's see. A matte brown and put it right in the corner. Right to get, you know what, I'll use a tiny brush. I'm using this tiny smudge brush because I want to get the matte brown right in the corner. I hope you can see me. Yeah, I want to get it really specifically placed. The matte brown that's in here is called Romance. Right. It's called Romance, and it's going perfectly right here. Okay. Now, take more and put it over here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Can you see that? Okay, those are my children playing. Okay. More of the matte brown right here. Okay, very good. And now I'm just going to use the very light pink called Smitten. This is it right there. Very light pink. And I'm going to use that just as a brow bone highlight. This is an It Cosmetics brush. It's perfect for brow bone highlights. I haven't done my, finished my eyebrows yet. I do that at the end because any fallout will get covered by the tinted brow gel by Anastasia. Okay, now I'm all set. Now I'm just going to take a brown eyeliner. This one here is from Rimmel. Exaggerate. It's one of my favorites. Okay, and I'm going to just... Brown is a necessity over 40. You just Black is just way too harsh. Oh, sorry. I hope you can see that, everybody. Just draw that. It's a wonderful eyeliner. Just gray. Try to get into the lash line. And team it up in the bottom. And then we're going to take a the smudger on the bottom to smudge the bottom. Let's do the other eye. Do the other eye. This has a wonderful mirror that comes with it. I do recommend it. It's pricey, but the colors are so unique and they're shimmery. And I do think that it's okay to wear some shimmer over the age of 40. Just very strategically. Okay. Get that into the lash, the lashes. Been having a sort of a flare up of blepharitis. Okay, now the smudging. The other side of this lovely Rimmel Exaggerate pencil has a smudger, so we're gonna use it to smudge out the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna, f we haven't done mascara yet, but we will be doing that soon. In fact, not all the time do I'm going to use today like the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. I'm not going to curl my eyelashes because when you have blepharitis, which is an ongoing eye infection, it can never be cured, but it can be controlled. Eyelash curlers aren't your friend because a lot of time you have inflammation on the eyelid. So we just have to work it out the best we can. So that's fine. Okay, let's just put some mascara on. I don't really care for this one because it's too spiky. It hurts the eye. A little on the bottom. Let's get just a small e.l.f. powder brush and just do a little bit more powdering for the staying powder. Mid-August it's... we need just a little bit a little bit for the staying power, and maybe a little bit of bronzer. I use the e.l.f. blush and bronzer. It's a really nice one. Um, here it is. e.l.f. blush and bronzer. It's a very famous color. Okay, so let's get a blush brush, which is what I use for the bronzer as well. And just, you know, just try to get a little bit of a sun-kissed glow going. Okay, so this way, okay, and the, and the last thing is the Anastasia Brown Mascara. This is really important because this will really give your eyes the pop. 
brows are really important. So we just sort of use the mascara. I think that's pretty much done. I need to get this color is granite, which matches my eyebrows perfectly. Okay. That's good. I think that's and what's nice about this, I have a few grays in my brows, and this covers it perfectly and grooms the brow as well. Okay. And we're done. The hair's not done, but that's another hair tutorial that I'll be happy to do for you. Thank you for watching and have a great day. This, oh, again, I want to say this is a fun and lovely palette. I do recommend it. Check it out. Thank you. Bye-bye.